Okay, so here we go. We are here in Brazil. Oh, man. Um, it's something about this track that I could not get comfortable with, but I, I said that, but I qualify first. Right here, followed by Alonzo, followed by George Russell, Carlos Sainz, Esteban Alcon, the the Alpine, the car, they've been, oh my goodness, the car performance is so good right now. Uh, I think I took a screenshot of this. I can't remember where we were at. I think we were in fourth, fourth or fifth now, um, under the Alpine. The Red Bull is all the way at the top, but look at Red Bull. There's no Red Bull up here. Max is on at the 13th, and where is Daniel Ricardo? Daniel Ricardo is on 21st. I think they uh, took great penalties. <laughs> but yeah. Top car performance, they're all the way back there. And yeah, I, I qualified first. So anyway, here's the race. And also, my floor mat for the play seat finally came in yesterday. And I feel like my rig is finally complete. Um, I really don't need anything else. Um, yeah, I don't know why my monitor is crooked. I do not need anything else. I mean, I could upgrade the, the, the pedals. But anyway, here we go with the race. And um, I got off into a great start. Bam, the tires spun out just a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to take off on them. There's no mercy right now. As of this race, Charles is leading the driver's championship in points. So, and I'm not far behind him. I think I'm like a little over 10 points under Charles right now so right now I'm like okay that's it no more qualifying intent I am going to try to go for the driver's championship now because we are totally out of the you know the team championship why does it go into that camera so here I go leading the pack Alonzo is falling close by and look at the traffic back there Oh my goodness, I think that's Charles. Yep, that is Charles. So right now, I'm just like, okay, I just need to stay in front of Charles. Whatever the cost. No need to play it cool anymore. I'm just gonna try to leave them in the dust. But as you can see, Alonzo is having a hard time keeping up with me. And it's something about this track that I could not get comfortable with. Right here, uh, I watched the AI drive through here and they go through here in fifth gear and I cannot do it. And I'm like, okay, I know why I can't do it right now because the, the transmission is on automatic. So yesterday I had to talk with my roommate. I'm like, listen, you know, I'm playing my game. The only time I have to play is at night. You're just going to have to put on earplugs or something, man. I'm going to have to at least ship. I can understand the ERS and the DRS, but I'm after this race, I went back to manual transmission. But yeah, I think that's why I couldn't get comfortable with the track. You know, I couldn't get into the right gear because of the automatic transmission. But as you can see, I'm just lead trying to leave them now and it's a hard task <laughs> it's a hard task the, the automatic transmission is not letting me slip away at all because look Alonzo's got me in his sights <laughs> he is right behind me and I'm like crap I can't get comfortable here you know but anyway I'm, I'm just trying to Keep it cool here. I I, I understeer there a little bit. It's just that um, it's a totally different technique 
braking with automatic transmission versus manual transmission because you can control the gears as you're braking I and I try to control the gears anyway as I'm braking but it does not work that way because <laughs> I want to be in fifth I try to click in fifth and it automatically dropped down to fourth and I'm like oh, are you serious anyway so now I'm leading by just a little over a second you know and I can't leave them Charles is keeping up with Alonzo and I'm like wow this is a good race good race okay Charles coming up he actually went through it there fourth I think it's because he's behind Alonzo but yeah I guess I'm thinking because in qualifying when I watched them going through there they had soft tires on maybe that's why they can go through there in fifth but even in qualifying I still couldn't go through there in fifth gear so I don't know like I said I, it's got to be the automatic transmission so Alonzo is driving great he is keeping up with me but I'm, I'm starting to pull away just a little bit car felt great it was just the, the transmission <laughs> but yeah we're, we're having a good race I'm gonna keep this up here I think um, we I don't remember this because after this race I went ahead and did the last one the Abu Dhabi race and I totally forgot about this race but I'll go ahead and upload both of the videos and I'll just kind of schedule the Abu Dhabi race um, for the next day. This will probably be out today on the 12th. But yeah, Oscar is doing good. Um, he kind of lost sight of Esteban there, but he's in seventh. I'm not complaining. He's getting points or he in the points all he's got to do is keep it up and now I finally pulled up to about 1.7 and I start to feel a little bit more comfortable still can't get used to the track it's just like I think the whole manual transmission thing is throwing me off and back here I, I gave I picked up a little bit more time because they were back there fighting each other because I knew it right away when I gained like, you know, four or five tenths on them. Because they were back there fighting. But after they finished fighting though, you know, I, I slowly, back on slowly gaining a little bit of time on them. Maybe about um, two, two and a half tenths per lap on them. So, which is not too bad. Not too bad at all. But Alonzo is just trying to keep up with Charles now. I don't think he's got any damage. And I don't know why the view is stuck like this. Why? You're supposed to be in this view. I think it's because of the camera settings that I have on right now that I can turn the cameras. Probably that. Anyway, so as you can see, I can't get any more than 2.3 seconds up on them. I'm actually losing time now, but yeah, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the interesting part here. So I can't remember what lap I'm supposed to come in. I'm thinking around lap between lap 12 and lap 14, but yeah, I'm just trying to pull away from them, not having any luck really because Charles is catching up Alonzo looks like he's about to get a second win As you can see I can't leave him too far you know I'm just happy with the lead that I have I'm finally up at 2.4 but yeah they were driving so good you know and I'm just trying to keep the pace trying to 
make it consistent like I usually do. That's my whole philosophy right there. Just drive consistent. And right there, under turn, because I came in a little too hot. I always... It's just my bad habit. I need to break that breaking late habits. Um, it's okay to break late when I'm behind a car. You know, trying to catch up to a car. But if I, when I'm leading, I shouldn't be breaking late. Anyway, we're coming up on lap 12 here. And I'm just, you know, pretty comfortable with the lead. But Charles is starting to gain on me again. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't leave him any further than two seconds see i'm back down to two seconds here <laughs> and max just dropped a place they're back here fighting yep they're up they're back here fighting in the middle of the field but yeah there's they go lap 12 i think i may have come in on this lap let's see if i do Nope, not this lap. So, just keep the time up there. There we go. I'm dropping down two more tenths there and picking it back up. It's just, um, like I said, I, I could not get comfortable here at all. So, let's see. Nope. Okay, so let's start from here as I'm driving. Um, right here, I missed my mark to slow down. Nope. I came in there pretty good this time. Yeah, I just couldn't feel comfortable. Yeah, that's pretty good. So right here, oh yeah, I kind of went a little high there. Right here, see, I try to stay in fifth, but is the automatic transmission is like, nope, you're not gonna stay in fifth. I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> here, just kind of look, punch it a little bit, you know can't floor it through there because the damn back end is going to come loose and right here I mean it looks like I'm driving comfortably but I was not comfortable at all right there yep on the stair right there I was just like that the entire race I'll get one corner perfectly and then the next one I'll screw it up and then the next one good and then screw it up the next one it's just like that all through the entire race so I think what I'm coming in on this lap here and I'm still right around two seconds ahead I can't pull away any more than that which is fine this is making for a pretty exciting race to me and I'm pretty sure I'm coming in on this lap here. Nope. So, looks like we're gonna come in on the next lap then. And I'm still trying to pull away. Charles is is catching up again. And I'm like, oh god. Right now, I can feel the tires, you know. It's, it's already orange. It's been orange. And I'm like, okay. We, we really need to come in now. Because I can't push the car anymore on these old tires and I should go in nope not this lap either <laughs> it could be the next one I can't remember which lap exactly but all I know is the tires are starting to give out oh wait how did I gain so much time from that oh they pit so they went in the pit on the last lap yeah let's go back to Charles Yep, Charles just came out, so he pit on hards, Alonso pit on hards, so I'm coming in the pit on the next lap there. A whole bunch of people went in the pit as well. Let's see, Lando Norris, Lewis Hamilton, Gasly. Yep, they're all starting to come in now. No merging with each other. So here we go. Should finally come in. I wait. I still didn't go in. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know what's happening right now. I like I said. I don't remember this race. Um. So I have to have come in this lap. 
we are already on lap 18. Yep, I finally came in. And yeah, this coming into pit here is very easy. So I didn't have to practice much, but I think going out of here. No, it might be Abu Dhabi going out of Abu Dhabi was ridiculous. And look at the crew working. Look at how dirty my car is. That right there was a 2.3 second stop. The crew did a great job to get me back onto the field. So anyway, see, not like last race when I was in first, second place, when I pit, I come out within, you know, top 10, almost top five. And I was like, oh my goodness, they stayed out two extra laps and gained, let's see, almost three seconds, about three seconds there, five seconds. Oh my God, they gained so much time on me for stay because I stayed out later. And I'm like, con totally confused right now. Totally confused. When the AI stayed out a lap or two longer, they pick up even more time. But when I stay out a lap or two longer, they still pick up more time than me. So right now, I'm just totally stunned. But I think Carlos Sainz, yeah, he already pit too. So did George Russell. Yeah, everyone up here already pit. So I was like, um, I don't know what's going on, why they're in front of me. I was leading, you know, when, when the first two, the, the second and third spot went in the pit, I was almost five seconds ahead. So when I finally pit, I come out sixth place and, and almost 10 seconds behind Charles. How does that make any sense? <laughs> I don't know, man. Because it's not like I was driving slow. I was consistent all through my laps there. Yeah, I was uncomfortable, but still. I don't know, maybe can someone explain to me what happened because you know I could go back and add up all the times about all those laps after they pit you know to see if the math the math fits but right now I'm just confused there's some kind of a pit bug going on that they keep cheating me when I come out of pit and right there I think that was all con yeah that was all con I think all cons. Oh yeah, he tried to punch it out too hard. But look at Oscar. Here comes Oscar trying to catch up with all con. Oh yeah, he's gonna pass up all con. So Oscar moved up to sixth place, and you know, right now I have no idea what's going on back there or in front, because <laughs> I have all this turned off the only thing I can see is how many laps and my lap time that's all I can see um, and the only way I can tell who's in front is because I have the driver's tag on and I have the, um, the proximity error on because when I drive in this view I can't see the mirrors so I need those error to tell me if I have a car right next to me or not. But anyway, so we're on lap 22 and I'm like, okay, I was in first place leading by so many seconds. We're on lap 22. Why? Why am I at this spot here? Because at some point, I asked for the full race status right there. I break late on purpose trying to get past him because <laughs> it's like a deja vu moment. Going back to the last race, I got cheated out of pit again. 
and, and as you saw with my pit stop, the release was perfect. The pit stop was perfect. So how did I lose so much time from the pit? I just don't understand it. But anyway, I think it's because I keep on listening to Mark. He's like, uh, we have an update on the pit strategy. I think I was initially was supposed to pit on lap 16. But he made an update saying that the tires can last a little longer. And I looked at the tires. I was like, it's already orange. You want me to drive extra laps? So I drove extra laps anyway. I, I think that could have been it. But no. Doesn't explain why I lost so much time. So right, right around here, I'm already fuming. Because I asked for the full race update and they told me I was in fifth place. And I'm like, we're on lap 20 something. I'm in fifth place? When I was in first? How? <laughs> How? <laughs> Whatever. I'm like, okay. Right now, I feel like I've, I've been cheated. So <laughs> I'm just going to push it. You know, right now, I have no idea how far behind I am from these two. So, right now I think I have like two to three laps fresher tires than these two up here. And Alonzo is not close enough to Charles to be fighting him. But we're gonna keep an eye out on them because I'm over five seconds behind them. Yeah, it looks like Alonzo is not catching up to him. Charles is just taking off. He's he's like, yep, this championship is mine, you know. And I'm like, I asked him who was in the lead. He told me Charles was in the lead. And I was like, oh, my God. He's going to lead in so many points. There's two more races back. If he wins this race, there is no... No way. No way I can catch up to him. Oh, he's going three and fourth. I guess it's because he's in hard tires. That's why he's got to go through there and fourth. But yeah, he's driving good. So Alonzo can't keep up with him anymore. I was hoping that Alonzo would, would kind of stay right behind him. But I'm catching up. Look at me. I'm now two seconds behind them. Because <laughs> I was so ticked off. And I am pushing the car now. Really, really pushing the car now. And I'm like, okay. Got to start breaking really late. Punch out. Um, I slipped out a couple of times. I probably skipped over that. Um, because I tried to punch it out too hard. I finally caught up to Alonzo here. And see if I can give him the slip. I usually don't try to pass him right through here because it's so hard to. So usually when we come out right after this part here. That's where I try to stick close to him. As close as I can. And up here where we're going to get in the DRS range. And yeah, in this view. I am so comfortable in this view now that I follow the AI really close down. Really close. And right there, that should have been a clean pass. Right? Yep. Plenty of room. Plenty of room. So right now, I'm like, okay, now I have a lot of laps to catch up to him. Just keep calm. Keep racing like, you know, like I'm racing and pick up just a little bit of time at a time because I know I have fresher tires than they do. We are on lap 30 now. Got six more laps to go. And I'm slowly, slowly catching up to Charles. He is giving me a fight and Alonzo is just like way back here now. I wonder if there's something wrong with his car. Nope, there's nothing wrong with his car. I think that's that's it. That's as much as he can push the car. So, 
at some point around here, I'm like, oh man, why didn't I turn on manual transmission? Because if I would have had manual transmission, this wouldn't have been an issue. But anyway, I finally got into his slipstream. I'm right behind him now. So I'm like, okay, from here on, I can just follow him for a few more laps. Well, I'll just pass him with two more laps to go. And then just take off on him from there. So that was my thinking anyway. I'm starting to remember the race a little bit now. <laughs> So right here, I'm like, nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see if I can pull away from him right here, right now. Because earlier, I tried to pull away from him. I couldn't get more than two seconds ahead. So there I go, trying to push away from him. But no, he's actually giving me a fight. Look at him. He's like, no, I'm taking that first spot back. And I was like, oh, my goodness. We are actually going to have a race. Finally, this is what I wanted. Charles and I are going to fight for the driver's championship. He does not want to lose it. He knows if I win this one, I will be in the lead. And he's going to be behind probably around 10, 11 points after this. So this is do or die for him. He's got to win right here right now to to keep it out of my reach pretty much because of what happened this season i i picked up extra spots um looking back i picked up extra spot from monaco because the ai had a brain fart and didn't want to Ooh, right there now why are you in this view so right here, I got to jump on him. I'm trying to take him out wide. And oh yeah, plenty of room. He, he actually tried to give me the squeeze though. I mean, if you look at him, right? He could have turned in, but he didn't turn in, but he came out on me trying to give me pressure on purpose. That is not good racing, Charles. Not good racing, man. Not cool, man. So, I always try to be fair to the AI. Give them plenty of room when I pass. But whatever. Now, I'm going to see if I can take off on him this time. But he's still right behind me. Trying to give me a fight. But yeah, I, I picked up so many points throughout this whole season. I mean, I can't believe that I'm in second place in the driver's standing. I did have four DNFs. Four of them. The one in Miami, I was in seventh place. I was moving up. I was catching up to George Russell. And my gearbox went out on me. And one of the DNFs, I was happy about because I totally, totally forgot to set back the ai which i understand i can't remember the other two um one of them was uh the internal combustion engine and the other one is a turbocharger i think it was one of those um so anyway here i go just barely over a second ahead of charles we have a little more than two more laps to go so I'm just trying to push it, trying to get out of Charles' reach. But Charles is fighting. He is keeping up with me. He is not letting me out of his sight. I mean, it, this race was really, really exciting for me because I really pushed the car. I did not hold anything back at all this race. Here we go on the last lap and Charles is over two seconds behind me now because I pushed the car you know there was no safety car this race there was I think there was like maybe two cautions the entire race and I 
think I remember why I'm not comfortable with this track. Because my first season on my other save came to this race and it rained the whole time. So I was comfortable driving on this track in the rain. And it didn't rain a single drop here in this race. I think that's why I'm not comfortable because I obviously I can go faster on this track. I'm used to going slower on this track. But anyway, this is pretty much the race win. Charles, there's no way, no way. He actually picked up some time on me though. I'm over there trying to steer, shake the steering wheel. Yes, yes. So as of this race, okay. You heard that bump right there? I wonder if I had to pay for damage when he bumped me there. Because you saw this race, I didn't touch anyone. And I had to pay $50,000 in damage. So look at the car. It's dirty. It's very dirty. There is no damage on the car. So why did I have to pay $50,000? For what? For a car wash? <laughs> Whatever. Here's the race here in Brazil. It was a very, very interesting race. Um, it was an exciting race for me. I don't know if it was to watch or not, but I hope you guys enjoyed it though. And yeah, I'll go ahead and upload both of the videos. Like I said, I'll just time it right. Um, because I already did Abu Dhabi and that race. Anyway, until the next video, you'll just, you'll just have to wait and see. As always, thanks for watching. Peace.